While most college students spend their free time binge-watching TV shows, a group of students at the Catholic Center at the University of Georgia spends their time trying to help the environment through beekeeping. Uh, we have one beehive and we're going to be taking care of that beehive and creating some flower beds around here for the bees, um, which will also help support other pollinators in the area. The Beehive is a new venture for the Catholic Center and is a project led by the Center's Laudato Si Environmental Club. The group is trying to bring awareness to the human impact on the environment through programs like recycling, composting, reusable silverware, and the importance of bees. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about bees and um, just that they're, they, they may be underappreciated for, for all that they do for, for us. The project is being overseen by Keith Delaplane, an entomology professor at UGA. Delaplane is a member of the Catholic Center and is excited to teach the students and other community members how to beekeep and why bees are important. Having the beehives there at the Catholic Center I think will open people's eyes to um, not only bees but the interaction of bees in nature. They, they pollinate flowers, they make the life of flowers possible. The Laudato Sea Group wants to educate community members about the benefits of urban beekeeping in Athens. Athens is one of several Georgia cities that has beekeeping ordinances to make urban beekeeping a smooth process. Bees are kind of like chickens. If they're mo properly managed, they make very good neighbors. And um, honey in urban settings tends to be really good. The first honey harvest is anticipated to take place in the summer. The Environmental Club plans on selling the honey to fundraise or to donate to those in need. The group hopes to see other students embrace the bees. We're just adding to the diversity of life around here and the diverse, diversity of people too. Um, we, we kind of can see them as, I guess, like in some way also our kin. We're not that separate from the insects even. Nicole Adamson, Grady News Source.